Welcome to the TSN Coaches Show. I'm Bart Harvey, alongside head football coach Jeff Devaney, uh, as we recap the 34 to nothing Bantam victory over the Colby Mules. Um, coach, first time playing an opponent uh, in a different color jersey. Just what were your general impressions of the team as a whole after week one? Yeah, I was really happy with the the way we played, and I guess general impressions are we're really fast. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. uh, on both sides of the ball, on the perimeter, on offense, and all over the place on defense. And our guys played very hard. That's what I was hoping to see, and uh, and, it, and, it, and it showed up. Um, so you mentioned speed on the defensive side. You know, you were very effective holding the Mules to under 200 yards. Um, you know, why is so much success on Saturday? Well, I, I, a couple things that you know I was impressed with because we had some freshmen playing and uh, a lot of sophomores, and they're good players. We, you know, they're talented players. I wasn't sure how they'd play when the when the real game was on. And I was impressed with how few mental mistakes they made. They really uh, prepared and and, uh, and executed very well. So you take the talent that we have on the field, and if they can not make mistakes, we're going to be pretty good on that side of the ball. Uh, now one of the leaders of your defense, uh, senior defensive back Paul McCarthy, uh, two interceptions, one of which he took to the house, um, named NESCAC Defensive Player of the Week. Uh, you know why? Why did he have such a big day on Saturday? Well, this is the first preseason Paul's been healthy since he's been at Trinity. He seems to always have an ankle sprain or something like that that, that holds him out for uh, for part of the season. And uh, he 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 played on Saturday like he practiced. I'm a big believer. I've never met a guy who, who you know, you always hear guys say they're gamers. They don't need to practice. I've never met a guy like that. Paul Paul practiced like that. For the past couple of weeks, he's had tons of interceptions in practice. So it was nice to see that happen in a real game. Um, and on the other side of the ball, offensively, you saw a lot of success through the air. Uh, Sonny Puzo, three touchdowns, two through the air, one th on the ground. Um, why was the why was the offense able to move the ball so efficiently? Well, I think we have a lot of skill on offense, and not just in one place. So there's been years here where we've you know had really good running backs, or really good receivers, or, or a really good offensive line, and, and I think this year we have all the pieces. And I think defenses are going to have to defend the entire field against us, and that's what we're trying to to do offensively. And Sonny's really. A, he's not just a talented player, he's a smart player. He made some very good decisions uh, about where to go with the ball on Saturday. Um, he was not, by no means perfect, but you know, we, Ian Duggar had a big play, Brian Vieira had a big play, Matt Hirschman had a big play, Darian Myers had a big play, Nick Gaynor had a big play, and Sonny was getting the ball around to those guys. And I think it makes us hard to defend when you, don't, when you have to defend the whole field. Uh, and at running back, you know, uh, a couple different guys saw some action on Saturday. Uh, are you looking for someone to kind of take over the position, or are you going to go with a committee for the time being? Yeah, I think we'll be a little bit more of a committee. We've got uh, we've got four running backs right now, all of whom we like, and they're all good players. You know, Nick Gaynor is our starter, and Nick is a is a big play threat. Uh, Ethan Sirachi is uh, he actually is fast. People think he's just a bruiser and a downhill kid. And he is. He'll run you over, but he actually is a you know it's a legit straight ahead speed guy too. And then the two freshmen we have, Max Japers and uh, and Jack Cunningham, are are way ahead of where we thought they'd be as freshmen, and you know they're they're physically talented enough to play at the varsity level already. Uh, and lastly, coach, you got a big matchup against a always competitive Williams team. Uh, tell me what you'll be looking for this week. Well, we're hoping that we can uh, execute a little bit better. You know, we didn't didn't finish some drives last week. That's going to be be a big focus for us. And Williams presents some challenges in their front seven that we've got to be able to handle. And uh, you know, hopefully we can do the same thing about getting the ball out in the perimeter against them. And defensively, they've got a very good quarterback. He really can throw the ball, made some big throws last week against Bowden. He can throw it in the pocket, he can throw it on the run, and they've got some big receivers. So um, we're going to have to do a great job in our coverage. Uh, well, thank you, Coach, for joining us. And uh, tune in next week as hopefully we'll be recapping a second Bantam win.